honestly the last couple of weeks have been super hectic to me in regards of work and because of that although i have shot a vlog previously but then i haven't had the time to edit it basically life happened you get me right and also today's vlog is gonna be about me and Mamoud then heading towards a newly opened cafe out there in Kalkali. Kalkali is basically a place where we go and wash our motorcycles. So there's a newly opened cafe out there and thinking about the burger that I am supposed to eat out there. I'm literally drooling bro. Because the quality and the size of the burger that you get out there is simply stupendous. So yes, we are gonna go for burger hopping to that particular place. So good morning and Namaste. I really hope that you all are doing fine. And yes, don't you worry about me. I'm doing perfectly well. And look at my bicep, bro. It's grown. Also, since I've not been using my motorcycle much, and it's been around three years since I bought my motorcycle, the battery is kind of. You get me? So, what I need to do is I need to jump start it and pushing. This 200 plus behemoth is a totally different kind of workout. <laughs> ah! Jump started my motorcycle. There's still a couple of things that I need to, you know, do with my motorcycle when it comes to maintenance. One is definitely charging the battery up. The second thing is changing the brake calipers on the rear section. actually the rear caliper bracket not the caliper so whenever you are cold starting a motorcycle always remember do not rev your motorcycle hard it's a freaking four stroke engine not a two stroke so you're not supposed to rev it hard even if you are riding like i am without much of cold starting make sure that you you are not holding your throttle way too much you're not revving your engine out you gotta give the engine some breathing space as well at first let it get seated in its comfort zone i guess let the engine oil roll all over the pistons so that the metal doesn't bang against another metal and cause a crack in the engine be very gentle on the throttle wow i have been planning to leave my chain since the past couple of weeks but then, because my schedule is too hectic as of this particular moment, I keep on forgetting the little things that I need to do with my motorcycle. Priyam needs to head out, so it has to rain. And it's already started drizzling hard. Now I'm just waiting for the rain to fall cats and dogs. And when it does, then I'm all wet. I just used the wrong term, right? I'm all drenched in the rain. And so is Mama Udyan. Exiting Kalimpong down Getting drenched in the rain with Mama Odeon This usually happens in a middle class family, okay? Basically his mom orders chicken biryani but she doesn't eat chicken So she just eats the rice portion and then she gives the chicken to him Because why waste it, right? That happens in every middle class family, every middle class household At least it happens in mine as well I'm glad that it happens in Mama Udyan's as well. It actually proves that Mama Udyan is not as rich as I think he is. Also, Mama Udyan has developed a mouth ulcer kind of thing. So, he has problem in chewing things. But since he's a very big foodie, just like me, we decided to head towards the place together. And also, since I've been to the place like three or four times in the past as well, but I've never really taken any folks along with me, so yeah, that's the only reason why I'm taking the folks along as well. Beautiful, eh, bro? Check it out. Yeah, most of the The town area looks so beautiful, yo. So, me and Mama Udin, we finally reached the foodies place, Leo Martins. This is the cafe that I was talking to you about. Looks extra unique, right? And that is Kolkali, the place where we wash our motorcycles. Let's head inside, let's order some burgers for us. Let's eat, eat, eat.
And as today the day isn't so bright, the cinematic shots aren't so great. But this is more about introducing you to the place and letting you know that the new burger joint has been opened up in Kalimpong, where for 200 bucks you get this big burger, okay, almost the size of my head. And also to bring Mama Uddin to this place because, like I mentioned you earlier, this guy is a very big foodie. So, Mama, are you ready to try it? Are you excited? Are you anxious to try it? <laughs> the place is built with in it. Anyway, just faking and just faking an English accent, eh. British accent. Eh. But I really like the way British people speak English, bro. The accent, don't you know, Compared to the American. accents of different people, babo. Just that we have Indian accent as well, right? Americans have their own American accent. British or Afghani, they have their own British accent, and I kind of prefer the way the British speak the language. Most probably, it's because abo, they were the forefathers of this particular language, right? So maybe it's like that, and yeah, you never know, bro. As you can see, it's a very beautiful place, and if you want to come here, then. You can book a cab to 7th mile, not book a cab, you can basically take a shuttle towards 7th mile and then get down at the police, what, what do you call that, check post or something and then you can walk here for the next 10 minutes or so and then you're gonna reach this particular place. <laughs> Come on, Mama, you can do it. Um, that's the way, my way. How's it? Good. Just good. <laughs> <laughs> So our burger hopping is officially done for the day and we are enjoying a dessert that is brownie with ice cream. And Mamu then what he personally feels is he could have come to this place if I had mentioned him brownie with ice cream. <laughs> Even if I hadn't mentioned him about the burger at all because this guy loves brownie with ice cream. So this was entirely about my today's day. I really hope that you folks enjoyed this particular vlog. And until next time, this is your brother along with Mamu Udyan. <laughs> the vlog from the hills Priyam Guru and I will see you very very soon. Till then take care, bye bye and cheers to life. Thank you so much. See you in the next vlog. And yes, this is the very first time I'm eating with my left hand and it feels so damn weird, <laughs> awkward, confusing. What else? Ciao.